I pause. I feel like I lack, so I'm not sure what end it's on. Like I just moved here, but then the other bee just moved. <laughs> well, oh, hello, welcome all to Humboldt Stewart's Crafting. I'm T. Um, my other half, Lydia, is um unable to join us today. She might pop in the chat. Who knows? She always pops up. She always all over the place. I have a quick craft. I'm not gonna keep you long. You know, in and out. So I am going to do a laundry room sign, which I have been putting off for I don't even know how long. But first, let's open up with a prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for our talents and gifts. Help us strive to use them wisely for the benefits of our special community. Guide us to fulfill your plan for each of us. Give us the grace to be humble, respectful, and tolerant this day and all days of our lives. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh, oh. Somebody is popping by this joining us. It's my internet acting up. As I say, it's my yeah, internet yeah. acting up. Hi, Gina. I can't see the comments. Are there any comments yet? You say hi. You say hi, Tristan. Hi. Hi. No comments. You say hi, Tristan. Hi, baby. <laughs> Bye. Uh-uh, keep my post. Bye, bye Tristan. Uh-uh, my drink down and take your drink. Come on, let's go. You say bye, TT. Bye, TT. Okay. Kick rocks. <laughs> Bye, what are you doing tonight? What you doing, Destiny? Tia said hi. Um, what you doing tonight? Hi, Destiny. Um, I'm I'm gonna finish my laundry room sign finally after six months. Okay, what is that? What is? Let me see what that's gonna be looking like. So I have this board. Mm hmm. And um, actually, what was left over when we replaced the shelf down in the pantry. Mm -hmm. And I spray painted it black. And then over the top, I spray painted it white, a little blotchy, because I didn't want it to be like pristine white. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to cut some words out on the Cricut. Basically, it just says laundry room. And I got some hooks because we don't really have a place to hang like anything that needs to be air dried or laid mm -hmm. or anything like that. I don't have a place to that. So I usually throw it over a couch or throw it over a door or something. And Marcus is always fussing at me about it. So I'm like, well, if I have a hooks in there and just put it and put it up there. Hi, Jane Doe. How are you? That's awesome. I like that. I like that. I don't have um, anything in mine either for like hanging. So I have mm -hmm. racks in my, my laundry room that are like these shelves. So shelves. And I be hanging stuff on the corners. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. I don't have that. So, yeah. <laughs> But that sounds awesome. I can't wait to see the finished product. Thank you. And I don't know if you were in here when I said it. I have a really bad delay. I don't know. My stuff I can is tell. always just, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hey, Mike. Blast as well, Jay. So then I'm going to get that started. Yes, bless. So... I have the sign pulled up here. I'm gonna put the cricket on the screen. And then I'm I just gonna it. get started printing and holler at me if anything comes up because I'm so delayed. I can't, can't really see anything. So I got it nine by. How are you guys so, doing tonight? 
So I don't know if you guys can see this. I did this yesterday. So I don't think I did it today. Um, I painted. She's beautiful. This. I'm going to tweak her a little bit. And I might do that while I'm on this slide. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to make this arm just a little bit wider to match her other arm because it's a little thinner. And I might not do a whole lot more after that. I don't know. What you been up to, Jane? Any crafting projects? What's been happening? And Mike, I saw, I haven't watched it yet. As you know, I'm still not heavy in the, the back. Um, I'm trying to catch people's stuff, but it's, well, yours are, are blogs, so that's easier. <clears throat> but I haven't even been catching people's lives, but I'm trying to catch it on replays. But I saw you posted a video recently, like maybe earlier this, early in the week. I saw something in my Ooh, timeline. Am I Let me see. I'm about to go over the air because I know I saw something. Oh, shoot. Maybe if I spell right. Um... Yeah, my emails are popping up on my screen like crazy. Oh, you got more than um, he just did one six hours ago. I saw the one. I don't even see it yet. He's been posted. He did a pepper sauce what? tasting. Mike? Get that out. Um. He got a large. What does DWC um, stand for? Don't 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 think I'm stupid. Uh, Mike crocheting. Have a cross stitch project in the cross stitch. I'm not that good at. I don't. I'm not gonna say I'm not that good at it. I don't think I've done enough projects in it with cross stitching. I mostly do the half double crochet and double crochet and maybe a. Um, singles of course and stuff like that but i i don't know i think i'm a little intimidated with some of the stitches honestly jane i probably shouldn't be but i think i am i'm not if i'm honest <clears throat> what kind of project is it deep water culture oh see it's out of my realm I, i've never heard of that i've never um, even heard of that Mm-hmm. And the Arrow Garden Sprout update. He had a mail call this week. Oh, is the pepper sauce that you actually show making pepper sauce as well, um, Mike? I think that's the one I saw pop up in my timeline, the pepper sauce. You've been posting like almost every day, boy. <laughs> I've been slacking. I have um, a sofrito video in the making. I just haven't edited it yet. And when I tell you I've had that video on my to be edited since like was it Friday or Saturday? One of them. I saved spaghetti squash seeds today. Oh, those are easy seeds to save too. Great job. Uh-oh. Let me plug up because something, my plug up. Oh, hold on, y'all. My, my thing was like power saving mode is on. I'm like, wait a minute. I mean, I'm not plugged in. I'm plugged in now. We good. Um, but yeah. Harvest pasta sauce. I saw that one. Of course, it shows me I've seen it too because there's a red line. In the hey. Them lemon spice jalapenos look beautiful. Beautiful. I have, oh, I don't have it in here. Dang it. I think it's in the other room. I have been like planning out what I'm, what peppers I'm going to grow. And I, I know I'm going to do the peach rush hot pepper. I might do jalapenos anyway, just because they're just a, um, a go to. Like, I mean, they're just so versatile what you can do with them. Um, I'm going to do Tabasco. I think I'm going to do some cayenne. Next season, I'm going to do... I don't know, maybe 
it's somewhere between four and I think I'm gonna do six bells and six hots all together. It's mouth. That's even better. Mike, do you have seeds for those? I might have to buy some seeds from you and try those out. I think they are so pretty. <laughs> they are so pretty. Um, you had another one that you showed earlier in the season that I thought was pretty too. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Cross stitch is a type of embroidery. I like to do different types of needlework. I wish, Jane, you do you have, do you have content? Let me check. Because um, I would like to see some of the projects. Hold on. <laughs> Used to cross stitch as well, Mike. Awesome. Jack of many trades. Mm -hmm. I love it. Of course, it's not going to let me. Uh, let me go to our live. Hold on. Because it won't let me. Um... Okay, so you don't do content. That's okay. No, I don't. I could have just waited for the answer, couldn't I? Um, I go Fresnos. Is the Fresnos the other ones I might have seen earlier in the season? Because they they were you were trying to contain them to have them go out instead of growing up really too tall. Might be Fresnos. Are those mild as well? I knew you did jalapeno. I did know that. So it was probably the Fresnos, and they were really pretty too. But I, I think next year I want to try ones that I haven't done. So um, I might do shishitos. Although what's funny is I thought a shishito was a mild pepper, but when I Googled it, it ranged kind of high in the scotch. Is that what it's called? The scotch something? Hold on. Shashito. Pepper. Shashitos are a pain? Wait a minute. Oh, the red fire. The tiny peppers. Haha, <laughs> yes, they are a pain. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Have you grown shishitos before, or the peach fresh peach? You did the you did do the sugar fresh peach. That might be it too. Um, because I asked. Um, well, you probably saw it in my um mail call. Broke farmer sent me all of his peach rush. He doesn't really do hot peppers like that. Hey Mona, and um. So he sent me all his seeds because he said they were too hot. Mona, um, TT is working on a laundry room sign. And she is in the process of doing her, um, is it the lettering on your Cricut? Yes, I'm trying to get it to print. But this delay, at first I thought it was StreamYard, but I think it's my internet or something because uh, it is so slow. Yeah. Hey, Lashes. Hi, Lashes. You're right, Jane. I do need to just try. I have a actual book that teaches what, well, you know, shows you. I shouldn't say teaches, shows you all the different type of stitching. And I've used it to figure out certain stitches. And then sometimes I just go to YouTube University and watch somebody do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Y'all, I really don't still have to cough, but I guess I kind of do get tickled up every now and again. I was going to say, cough yeah, just won't go away. It won't. I really, it's like I go all day and then all of a sudden I'll have it. But my sinuses have been draining to the point that I make that crazy noise that I be talking about at work. And I feel bad because I don't like to do it out in public because I know it's annoying. But, you know, if you know anybody who has sinus drainage and they try to get that itch from the feeling they get, it's a little throat noise they make. I did that in public. I did that at work today. And I was like, sorry. Because <laughs> I did it out of habit. I didn't even catch myself before. Mm-hmm. I, would, I really wasn't embarrassed. I can't say I was, but I still felt bad. I was like, I'm sorry. Because I, I know I can be sensitive to certain noises, so I don't know if people might be sensitive to that sound. Mona, you woke, working on anything today? Uh-oh. Somebody tried to call me. My brother. Hmm. Uh-oh. Hmm. That's out of the norm. Take it if you need to. Mm -hmm. Well, he, he he missed it, but hold on a sec. I, I'm going to mute for a sec, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to be right here. Okay. Okay, guys. So I have it set, but I don't know what's going on with this cricket. I got everything hooked up. This is... The paper and everything that I'm using. So I had to put it on a special setting because this is from Dollar Tree. And um, it rips really easy. So I'm not sure why it's just not letting me go on to the next step. I don't, I have no idea. I just know everything is really slow. Because I got that set, material based set. But. And the cricket is on. Let me try something else. I'm just going to use a regular vinyl setting just to see if I can get it to. Come on, which there it is. Change the pressure to less. That's going to help the um, blade from not cutting all the way through. And then how come it's not giving me an option to print? You know, ever since I got this new Cricut, it seems like. If it ain't one thing, it's another. Okay. All right. So at least it took the paper, which is a good sign. But it's still, not, I'm wondering if it's something down here that I can't see because I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but this, yeah. So between this cricket and my delay, I'm getting frustrated. Washi tape. This is the setting I should have it on if I'm using this Dollar Tree paper. But once again, it's not letting me do anything. It's on, it's plugged up.
is not working. Yep. Yep. Can I get the card Mimi, I'm alive. When I said I was. Okay, what's in your story? Mimi, I'm on live. That hasn't changed in the last second since you asked me. All right, John. Hey, Annette. Hey, Annette. Everything I'm good, sorry. Anna? That was my older brother, and he didn't want nothing. He was like, I just call it. He don't never just call me. I had to make sure everything was good. Yeah, I know how it is. Gina, email me. I'll send you. Oh, really? Thank you, Mike. Is your is your email in your um about? Is it in your about? I um, but I just want to try different ones next year. So the only one that's a that I might grow, guys. I was talking about what I'm gonna grow next year, by the way, for everyone who came in later. And for those of you who came in later, Tia is working on a laundry room sign. And she's frustrated with her cricket. Yeah, I was gonna say she's frustrated with her cricket. <laughs> I was listening to you even when I was talking to my brother. That's why I kept looking up to let you know I was listening. Um, I heard you uh, fussing. I heard you fussing ever since I got this uh, new cricket. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't even see Jane Doe do you have a cricket like why isn't it working my mat is set right everything is set right it let me get this far I don't have to pay for the thing for my design okay hold on I'm, it might be working now uh, I see the light is blinking. Awesome. I turned it off and turned it back on, y'all. I'm going to email you later, Mike. Yeah. Um... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Got a tickle. Um, but yeah, that's all I got going on. And actually, I said I was going to fix this painting. <clears throat> I did this yesterday, guys. So she's dry. Um, and I don't re know if you guys remember my first one. I did like this. I didn't like it as much because I thought she just, I don't know. I thought she looked like an auntie. It wasn't quite like I the, thought she looked just fine. Tia did. She she Tia is Tia is the mom who who lets who tells her child that she's doing a good job so she feels good about herself. <laughs> <laughs> she makes me feel good about myself. I do like this one better. Um I did a little bit of details to her that was not in the actual painting. But I think I'm going to make this skinny arm a little bigger to match her other arm. So just a little bit. It's not much. Thank you, Jane. Hey, Felicia. Thank you, Alnette. I um. No, Hi, I Felicia. One. Felicia, I emailed you. Felicia, he emailed you. Jane says she does not have um a cricket, and I think that's a. Yet, because she says, "Got my fingers crossed for you." Oh, for you, I thought for yourself. Yeah. For her, for you, she got your her fingers crossed. Okay. It started. Um, Me and this cricket gonna go to war. I did this one as well um, last week. I did fine. I don't think I was on here when I did that one. You don't have to make me bigger. They don't. They don't need to see it that close. <laughs> But yes, I did her. <laughs> so yes, and I've been seeing you, Felicia. You've been doing the thing. Like you are good. I don't think you realize how good you are. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she Especially is. 
where you're freehanding. Now this one was freehanded, but I was watching somebody else do it. So it wasn't all me. You saw the email. What am I doing? I'm doing, I'm trying to do my laundry room sign. He's working on a laundry room poem. So. I'm watching Gina paint. I like to see her working on this. <laughs> All concentrating on every little, every little thing. I'll be in concentration mode. So I'm just making her arm a little wider to match her other arm. I um, felt like I made this one too, too thin. And then the other one looks so much wider over here. Color it in a little bit. I think she can still be a little wider. She's a maybe for Sunday. Okay. I'm struggling with ink, learning how to use it. Is that the cricket? Is that what you're talking about, Felicia? Are you talking about for painting? Are you doing something with, with ink? The ink? Paint? Nice. I'm asking. I don't know. All right. I feel like I should do something a little bit to so the hat doesn't blend in so much at the top with the background, but it's supposed to be like way lighter. I don't know. I don't know. I think that arm is more almost um, equal to the other one. Okay, this is that. Done with this. Uh oh. Did you give up to you? No, it print is done. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna weed it and um I use this, what is this called? Like buffalo print. Is that the, so I'm the... it shows Oh up. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what I'm color is the lettering you're using? So... This is the lettering. The lettering is cut out in here. Oh, but if I don't like it, if I don't like it, I could always do the lettering a, a different color because I was thinking about having two colors. So maybe I, I nope, I, nope. I like that print. <laughs> I'm not pulling the back out. <laughs> See, so now acrylic I just got to weed it. Paint, similar to watercolor, difficult for me, but I'm learning. Awesome. 
Awesome. Alicia, did you get that sorrel harvested? I don't like that being so much of a bee either. Let's kind of round it out a little bit. Okay. I think I, I think this one is just fine. As good as it's gonna get. I feel like I need to stop. Tell me to stop y'all. I feel like I need to stop. <coughs> I think I should put it in a solid color. I like the buffalo print. I feel like it on some of the stuff is going to be hard to see. I'll show you when I get all the way done. Show up better on that right. on that though. All right. And if anyone has this, this is the Dollar Tree. So I only paid a dollar for this vinyl because it was a dollar at the time. Mm -hmm. But if you are using it, you have to change the settings. So the settings that I use, which is the pressure that the Cricut cuts with, is washi tape, which is really like and everything almost like just paper. Self-serve in 24 hours. I'm just painting the edges, guys. What background you're using? It will be on the fine on a solid. Uh-huh. So I'll show you the background. Here it is. This is the board. Um, it's from it was extra from the line or the pantry when we made a new shelf. Mm -hmm. I painted it black, so it was original. It was just that plywood. Okay. And then I spray painted it white, it was like a blotchy white, because I wanted it to look almost rustic. I just hate the creativity that you have, because I don't have it. So I, I love it. Show up. This is I do too. I love I it. I love that you were are that creative. To to go like you know you painted it and you're like okay, but I want it to look more rustic, so I'm gonna do this. Mm -hmm. I love it. You guys are just. I I don't think I have the same. I think y'all give me too much credit for the little bits I do because my creativity is not that. I know. I need I shouldn't hate you. <laughs> Felicia's right. She told me not to hate. I really don't. I'm just, okay. it's just really just like, you know. Like, wow. I wouldn't have thought of that. But I love it. And I love seeing it because then you give me ideas. to see stuff too i may get okay i think that'd be cute but to really get what i want i do have to like google search it. um thumbnails i have to have some type of template or something i can't just start from a blank slate i am Struggle. getting so much more creative there <clears throat> not one thumbnail i do now starts with any background. I do everything from a blank slate. But I think that wow. I'm forced to because I feel like if I don't, there's a person that I know that's going to like be like, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. start over. <laughs> I 
I know. You're right, Jay. Are you following the video? Just I was using a video, um, Felicia. I actually did this yesterday. And um I sat there and just touched the I did her yesterday, and then I just, uh, today I was just kind of trying to make this arm a little thicker to match her other arm because it was very thin. Um, but yes, I did her yesterday, and it was from a video, and it was a YouTube video. Yes. And it was no tracing on that one. That's all just painted from... I mean, the person who did it didn't do any tracing either. So I just kind of followed the video and did my best. Does mine look exactly like hers? Absolutely not. But it's just like any painting. Like I have realized that from the night that I did the painting um, with Lydia, that what you put to the to the um, canvas is based on your vision of what you're seeing. And mine and um, Lydia's was totally different, but they did both turn out good. Yes, they did. It's actually one of my favorite pictures now that I've done. I really, really love this one. But it wasn't until I finished it that I did. I used reference photos. I, that's what I'm saying, Felicia. You are good. Although Lydia always says, like, when she sees me do people, she's like, she doesn't feel comfortable doing people. I think she could do people. Yeah. Yeah, I think she can do it. And this is another one. I did this. This is the one I did with you, Felicia, and you and Lydia. I'm going to have like a whole studio collection. I'm going to have to put them on to like some you high have bid. To have an art show. Put them on a high bid platform at $5,000 a WAP. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then I'll be stuck with them for life. So I'm cutting this because then I can kind of spread it out instead of laying it all down at once. So I stuck it all okay. to transfer paper, which is how you get off of the credit mat. And I'm just cutting pieces now so I can kind of mix and match it. Yeah. Jane, do you paint at all? Do you just are you do you kind of just still do the needlework? Jane is working on a project, Felicia. She's doing a cross stitch project right now. Do you do any? Do you dab in any of the other realms of crafting? <coughs> I do the. You know, I do some painting a little bit. And I just really, literally started doing this. Um, I One night, Lydia was sharing a, something that she painted with me. And I was like, that's such, painting just seems so relaxing. So, I, And it is. So once I started, I've just loved it. Um, you know, I can do some crocheting. I never, um, I've never knitted. I have done some things with beads so like making um different stuff bracelets Lori? i did the beads i haven't done any like necklaces or anything but i've done bracelets so i have like a lot of different beads i haven't done them in a long time so i need to pull them out and maybe do a couple um projects with them yeah yes Time for the bracelet and stuff. And then I even have like the little um, trinkets and stuff. And the clasp for the ends. Yeah. I, I got into it for a while and then it ended up in the bottom of my 
desk drawer and it's probably been there for years. I'm not even going to lie. I've had this stuff for a long time. I made braces once. I bought a, oh, let me get, show you guys the brace that I have right now. One of my coworkers, her daughter made this for me and it has my name on it. You can't hardly see it because of my dang on lighting as usual. But it has my name on it. It's actually really cute. She did, of course, the little um, twine that you use, but she put a clasp on it as well. And she's only like, let me see, the Miracle's 13. I think Peyton is like 11. And um, she just did it because she wanted to. And she told her mom, she's like, I just feel like Gina's a blue. So I'm going to do hers in blue, <laughs> not knowing that blue is my favorite color. Aw. She that's just stuck sweet. With I don't know. I love it. It's actually really cute. I don't even think this seeing it through the camera is giving it justice. It's really cute. So I got it today. Um, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, all that. It, I love it. I was like, that is so sweet. And the fact that she thinks of me and she's like, she just feels like a blue. And that's my favorite. Because <laughs> she came, her mom came into to the office to get some things. Because most, um, pretty much all of the, well, no, all of the employees are remote right now because my office just moved. So the only people working in the office is management. And there's five. Yes. One, five. two, three, four. One, two, three. Uh, six dollars and um she came in to get some things to be able to do some of her work um some more cases and stuff and she was like what's your favorite color and i was like looking at her weird i'm like blue she's like really and she hands it to me she's like peyton made this for you it's so sweet anyway <laughs> it was awesome um i've done some cross stitch that's Felicia, it's an, an outage in my area, so I am troubleshooting my phone when I need to finish two crochet projects. That sucks. Is it a is it a like an internet outage or is it a power outage on that? I'm not looking for. I'm 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 almost like really really been looking at getting. Um, I should say almost. I have been looking at getting the generator because I just feel like. This is this is going to be a year when it's going to be a whole lot of mess with power Facts. and stuff. I just don't feel settled. I don't know. I, it could be me. What do uh, they say? That's that intuition. That's true. I've been looking, and I'm like, I need to quit looking, and I need to just get one, even if it's a smaller one. Um. Mm -hmm. I, I, so uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I've never tried painting. Yes, Felicia, I do knit and also do hard anger needlework, tatting, crochet, ribbon embroidery, a lot of things that I've never done before. Jane is talented. <laughs> Pretty Jane, don't email me. Look at the hat. Felicia's like, we need to talk. <laughs> mobile sale in your area. Okay. I hope that doesn't hit my area because I do have T-Mobile. Do you need me to email you again? I do have T-Mobile. <clears throat> I don't think I've had an outage, but Tia will even tell you my my phone has been was shoddy. It's been better. But my phone had been in my even being um, on live, well, you guys know, like when I've done the candy, mm -hmm. it kicked me out a couple times. It's been kind of, but it's been fine lately. So let's knock on some stuff. It's been doing right. So maybe it passed, it's, I'm past it. But I was having some issues with it on that. I mean, I would literally so be in a, on a phone call and it would kick me off completely. Oh, let me see it again. I'm not feeling it. I am. What I'm not you done. Like? I'm still going to. 
the white and black? Probably because it's kind of um, it's not really it's not really popping. It's not popping. Yeah, it's probably because you 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 have a wider background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have an idea. I'm not doing it today because, like I said, I'm not putting that that cricket team too much. But what if I do the exact? I put everything where I want to. I cut it out exactly the same, all on black. And I kind of layer it so there's a shadow behind it. Like everything I has like a, it. you know what I mean? I like it. Just offset it just a little bit. I like it. I've done that with my thumbnails. Actually, I think I got a, uh, the thumbnail I that's approved by you already. I think I'm going to go back and do that because I <laughs> like that. I I it heard does, it, 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 like, she that's where I got it from. She made me do it one time <laughs> on a thumbnail. She made me do it. She's like, nah, -uh, mm -mm, go back and do it. Y'all, Lydia is tough. <laughs> but she is very, she she's good. <laughs> she is good at that stuff. Those banners no and thumbnails. Going on her house. Mm -mm. She, I don't even think she realizes how. It's second nature to her, so she doesn't think it's like a thing. And when me and mm -hmm. Tia do stuff and show it to her, she'd be like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> and like, it don't take her but like minutes to like change it and make it to something you're gonna fall in love with. And I'd be like, "Why you make me do it anyway? You could have just did it from the beginning." But she is also, which is a good thing. She is the the teach a man to fish type of woman and not just give <laughs> a man a fish type of woman. And I like that because she wants you to know how to do it yourself as well. Hey, unicorn so lady. She can call you on the side. Gina, I need, a email. I need a thumbnail for that. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Cause she is to definitely said like, she's giving me us like, I got, you know, I'm not thumbs down. I'm like right here. So she she will send me a message like, can you make me a thumbnail real quick? Now she might not, she might still critique it, but she gonna ask me to do it. <laughs> My phone was doing that too, Gina. See, but it has gotten better. Yeah, mine is better now. It was doing, it was just a hot mess on that. It was a hot mess. Um, but yeah. I've just noticed a lot of, I've seen a lot of people getting a little better on the um, thumbnails and stuff. We're probably all using the same program <laughs> and it's all good. I'm trying, I'm trying to do better and make it more vis visually um, appealing to you guys. I'm almost done. Oh, you're good. You're good. That was actually fast. It, you haven't been on here. It has. It's not been an hour yet. Woohoo! That's what I use, Felicia. I use Canva. At some point, I'm going to be clean. Like, it's so much chaos happening around me that you guys are only seeing from here to here. But there's so much chaos happening around me. I need to declutter and organize. I'm showing y'all way too much of this room than I want to. Yeah, it is. I, have, I did not realize how much of a crafter she is. Tia was using a, she has a sewing machine. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I know a lot of you probably do. I do not. I am the sewing machine. Needle. That's, that's what I do. Um, I be like, like Tia, she has the things like the cricket. You know, I like my gadgets. Yes. So she she's she has that craft room looks the way it does because she be crafting. So ain't no judgment in that. 
a used craft room is going to look like that. <clears throat> it definitely is. Just bought fabric the other day. Alicia says she sews too. What you sewing, Felicia? Do you, um, where do you? How do you come up with your cut? Get your patterns, Felicia. I don't know how to read a pattern. You don't. I've never tried to because I don't sew. So no sew. judgment. I did take home ec when I was I in did. junior high, and I learned to make pillows. We did pillows, and we would we would do embroidery to them. So I have done some embroidery. We would do embroidery to them first, like we would have that um, that wooden thing that can hold it tight. Uh, I don't know if they call it tight. I, mean, I can't remember. It was that I was in yes. And then you do your embroidery, whatever pattern you decide you're going to do there. Like if it's going to be words, or if it's going to be like picture, like hearts or doves or whatever. And then you you sew the three sides and stuff it, and then close it. I did do that. We did several pillows when I was in junior high. Um, they don't even have home ec in school anymore unless it's in your state. In our state, they don't. I like. What is, oh, is that a, is that a ladder? And a hanger? A clothespin. It's like a clothespin and a hanger. Oh, that's a clothespin. You know what I was mm -hmm. thinking it was? You know how, uh, not a ladder, but that thing that, the old school thing that people would use to wash their clothes and they would like Oh, that's what I thought that was. I called it a ladder, but that's I know that's not what it's called. Oh, Felicia has three sewing machines, I believe. Oh, Felicia says she's in the arrow garden tomorrow. In the arrow garden, and she got a great deal on it, too. I buy patterns or use garment I already have. If I have a piece I love, I will make duplicates. Nice. Nice. Washboard. Yeah. See, Felicia? To That's put on there. Hard. But I'm not screwing that in. Marcus can do that. Well, all he would need to do is do like a little drilled hole first and then screw it in. Okay. Use a small, he'll know what to do because he needs to use a smaller drill bit than the screw so it doesn't strip it. He gonna be like, where your drill? See? See, you could do it. Or, or wait, or he go. Where your purple toolkit? <laughs> oh, mine was pink. I had a pink one. And a bunch of mm -hmm. pieces went missing. Yep. So a purple one. Yep. And I actually tight. had a pink drill. And then I was like, quit playing. I went about a real drill. Because when I started gardening and I needed to actually mm -hmm. really drill some stuff, mm -hmm. I had time for the play play. You I need one of Marcus's I claimed that it's mine. Mm -hmm. Where is it? It's in the craft room. You got to find it. I don't know. But it's mine mm -hmm. now. Exactly. Felicia said her I mom. I just don't know how to do it. No home ec. We had home ec. We have home ec. Now my mom taught me how to sew mend like a a um a tear in the seam and stuff like that. Like where your seam comes loose or whatever. We knew how to do that or like how to hem something. My mom taught me that, but we didn't have a sewing. Machine. My mom didn't teach me. My mama know how to sew. My mama has come over specifically to use the sewing machine and has left. And still ain't gave you lesson. Mom, do better. I'm like, how? Mom. Wait. Wait. Hilarious. I just need to hem my skirts and make me a headband. Hilarious. <laughs> well, they have some cheat ways now, too, because I've done the cheat way, the sew, I mean, not the sew, the iron, um, hem stuff. Yep, that's, I've done that's that. Mm -hmm. Both sides. I like it. that. Hem, is it called tape? Hem tape or something, yeah. Hem tape. Stitch, I've stitch, cheated and used that. Something. Yep, I used to. Mimi was little. I did that all the time. Mm -hmm. It's been a, it's been a cheat. Sometimes I ain't got time to be. 
and my eyes are getting worse and I'm not even that old, but my eyes are getting worse as I get older and getting mm -hmm. that, that thread and that little hole on the needle beats a lot. It be a lot. Fusing tape. Yes. But I loved home ec. We cooked. I learned to make cookies and brownies from scratch in home ec. I actually had to take that back. Some schools still have it. My daughter did home ec because she learned to make an omelet in home ec. And that's where she learned that she actually liked onions because she never ate onions because mommy didn't like onions. Not because I didn't tell her she couldn't have onions. She just thought she didn't like them because I didn't like them. She thought they were and poison. I don't, I don't know. I was like, I don't know why you just never, because I used to ask her, did she want them? She's like, no, no onions. Because she would hear me say it. Mm -hmm. But um, when she took home ec in high school, they and she's only 26, so it ain't that far out of, you know, from high school, um, they taught them to make an omelet, and she realized she liked onions. Mimi, did you have home ec? <laughs> Unicorn lady, were you in, I, I don't even remember you being there. With Lydia, and she is still, she still is like, if she was here today, you gonna she speak still, her up. <laughs> she still, she did not, she did not approve. She does not approve to this moment. I was joking and told her I was gonna get one. She for her. she was not having it. She is not <laughs> having it. You she like does that. not understand this. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> By the time I got to high school, I already knew. Oh, that's, I did know a, a lot of it. Um, I didn't know the baking from scratch stuff though, because I was, I didn't, we didn't, my grandmother baked. Grandma didn't. My mom wasn't, she did a, her thing was the pineapple upside down cake and uh, sweet potato pies at the holidays. But most of what I knew was cooking. Like it was nothing they probably could have taught me about cooking because I had been cooking like myself, even by myself in the kitchen at nine. But I had been cooking with my grandmother before that. So cooking is just a thing with my mother's mom's side of the family. Like all of them know how to make a meal. Some of them better than others. There's always going to be those one cousins that really don't get into the cooking. But to the majority of us, we cook. And we eat. <laughs> we do both. But then I do have some cousins. I have actually a cousin who just opened a um, a bakery. Wow. She's been doing that. it out of her house for probably five or six years. I mean, big, well-known in our city um, for cakes. Not just because people, word of mouth. And then she, she built up such a clientele. It was too much for her to keep doing out of her house. She finally got a storefront and she has her own spot now. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you got that gift and she's one of, I mean, my brother doesn't like bananas. My older brother, the one who just called. And I love um, banana pudding, but sometimes the bananas just make you like, ugh. Yeah. yeah. Two hours, somebody chops them up in there. My cousin's banana pudding, I was like, girl, you're going to have to give me your secret. I cannot. So I had bought it one time and stopped over my brother's house. And he literally lived, they were walking distance from each other, like literally house, houses from each other on a cross street and didn't even know it. And I was like, Kia, do, um, you know, she makes banana pudding too. And she sells on Friday, she would sell like um, her cake cups and banana pudding and different stuff. And I was like, um, you want to try the banana pudding? He's like, oh, I don't like banana. I said, I'm telling you, you're going to like it. So you I bought one. Mm -hmm. I, I heard cookies one. and cakes. I saw. <laughs> yes. <laughs> cookies and cakes, honey. Cookies and cakes. Hey, Sam. And she, um, he tasted it. He he scraped that container, mm -hmm. and he was going over there every Friday after that. Get I was like, I told you, I, know, I don't know what right. it is, but I have figured out what people do to make their banana pudding so decadent. You use cream cheese. 
I found a recipe that did that and I made it that way. And after that, I was like, that's the secret. Because I couldn't understand why her pudding was so, I don't know, silky. Like it Not was something, pudding. you know, it was just, it was amazing. That's it wasn't amazing. pudding. It was amazing. And my oldest daughter, all her cakes from probably the time she was 15 up, they came from my garden. She would, every time her birthday came around, I want Kia to make my cake. So I would put in an order for her cake every year. But yes, my dad had a sweet tooth. We all cooked for him. My husband has a sweet tooth. I never was around anybody who really had a big sweet tooth until him. But he doesn't really do cakes. He's a cookie guy. And he loves them from scratch. He loves them however. He just loves cookies. I call him a cookie monster. He just monster. loves them. Yeah, I call him my cookie monster. <laughs> he loves cookies. And I'm I can have sweets, but I I don't I can if you were to tell me like if there was four things and sweets was one that I could if I I, I had to choose between three things, I mean four things and one was sweets that I would probably say sweets would be the one I could live without. I think same. Um I am really sensitive to sweets. Mm -hmm. My teeth, especially if it's rich or something, I can't take it. I cannot. Yeah. But salty yeah. snacks, I'm there for That's it. That's me. I'm a salty snack girl. Mm -hmm. I will eat, I will sit and embarrassingly eat a big bag of chips by myself. If I'm sitting on a lazy day in front of the TV, next thing I know, my hand is at the bottom of the bag. Yes. They know me at work. Love I'll it. be like, mm, I'm just going to get some chips. I just mm -hmm. want to lick the salt off of <laughs> Same. I love, and not just chips, I will fry up me some potatoes because I just love potatoes. So I will slice up some potatoes and fry, make, make me some home fried potatoes. I will make me some French fries. I will, I love potatoes. That's the one starch I could not live without is potatoes. Y'all could take rice. Y'all could have it. Y'all could take pasta. Y'all can have it. Leave my potatoes. Don't touch them. Did somebody say well, they was going to touch my potatoes? Don't come for my potatoes. I might bite you. I love potatoes. The peanut butter cookies with the Hershey. I like those. They make the a lot of people make those at the holidays. Sugar is my choice. Ah, always. Unicorn lady says same chips or cookies. It's chip every time. Me too. It's almost Christmas time. Yes. At Christmas time is probably when I have most of my sweets. Oh, you out already, Sump? Have a good night. Thanks for or you said, hey. When she said good evening, hey. Yeah, she was. She was just saying hey. Okay. Um, that's usually when I have most of my sweets. I will make um, sweet potato pie around the holidays. I definitely am going to make a pineapple upside down cake. And I probably will also do a banana pudding. Um, not all at the same time, but at some point. But... My husband is really the only sweet eater. Even my kids are not big sweet eaters. Oh, wow. They will have some. But a lot of times I end up taking it to work and letting them finish it. I've done that before. Mm -hmm. I have done that. Get it out my house. Mess them up with the potatoes on Gina's plate. Please do not, Jane. <laughs> and my husband doesn't really like potatoes. He's you more of a lady. Like, I'll take the pasta. Give me them potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. They're so versatile. You can have mashed potatoes. You can have fried potatoes. You can have baked potatoes. You can make they french fries. Really awesome. They're so versatile. <laughs> They're so versatile. She had to whisper it. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, Audrey. Hey, Audrey. Did see you sneak in. Stuck with me for the next 55 minutes. <laughs> Hilarious. Apple pie, sweet potato pie. Pe mm -mm, mm -mm. Did we talk about this, Felicia, the nuts in my food? Mm -mm. <laughs> I do like pumpkin bread. Um, I don't make it, though. 
I do. I love banana bread. I will make that. Um, I don't think of banana bread as being so dessertish, though. Ooh, I agree. I don't know. Um, that. Yeah, because I'll have it with coffee in the morning or like a, as my breakfast or something. I, but I don't typically. It yeah, but I like banana bread or banana muffins, brownies. I love brownies, but I don't eat them very often. And cookies for the holidays. One of my my old boss, she's retired now, but she still will send us some. She makes homemade caramels. Ooh. Best caramels. I know eating one, I've gained 50 pounds. They're so freaking buttery and good. But I, I tell her, I don't know how she does it. She makes them every year. I think that all the her kids and everybody request it because it's so messy to make. She always says how much how much work it is to working with. But it. it's so good. It's so delicious. She used to give it to us as a Christmas gift every year. And I'm like, don't stop. I'm looking forward to my caramels every year. This thing be changing my words. <laughs> I am a chip fanatic. Me too, Audrey. Me too. It's so, uh, it, uh, yeah. I can have, yeah, chips whenever I am. Sounds like you go all out. Yes, for the holiday blanket. Chocolate chip. Fudge, pralines, no, no. I like the flavor because pralines is like that. It's a nut, but it's caramelized with that, almost like the um, peanut brittle type thing. I won't eat the nuts though. I do like. I don't like pralines. I do like peanuts, cashews. I, I like do. almonds, but I want them by themselves. I don't want you to put them in things. I'm a wacko. I know. I'm a crazy person. But I am. Don't put it in my cookies. My mother-in-law makes a homemade cookies during the holidays. And I'm like, don't put those nuts in my cookies. She just be, she be laughing at me because her baby boy, which is not my husband, but her baby boy loves the nuts in his. And he lives in Washington. So she mails his to him. And I'm like, oh, I'm okay that Jason want his with nuts. But mom, don't make my, don't put no nuts in my cookies. She's like, okay, crazy lady. <laughs> <laughs> she always calls me crazy. Mimi's like that. She doesn't like the nuts in I don't mind them at all. Ruins it. It ruins it. Absolutely ruins it. Mm -mm. And I've even seen like a lot of Asian dishes that do nuts in it. And I'm like, maybe I would like it in something like that, but I'm not willing to figure it, find out because I have such a hang up about having nuts in my food. Because you don't like it so much. But I've seen like cashew chicken, I think they do, and like different stuff like that. And I've thought about making it and I'm like. So do you like, like pad thai with the, because sometimes they put the peanuts in it. I'm, I've never gotten pad thai because it describes having peanuts in it. Okay. I get thai food. So I usually get, um, I will get the, the um, they got, they have those one noodles, the, um, what do they call those? It's not the pad thai ones though. It's a thicker noodle. And then, or I'll get the, the, the place that I go to here has this basil rice that's no, it's not basil, is it? Yes, basil rice. Freaking amazing. It's so delicious. And I'll get that. But yeah, the, so how come I hook this cricket up to my phone? Just that crick. And Use it works Bluetooth, fast. And it's working just fine. Yep, the internet is acting up. Oh, so while we were sitting here talking, I'll just print the. I've been that way since high school. I used to have sour cream, yes, and onion chips and chocolate chip cookies every day for lunch. That would be me, Audrey. Yes. Have you seen the TikTok short making mashed potatoes from potato chips? I. I don't know if it was. Oh, it must. It was mashed potatoes, and I was like, why though? Why? I did see that. I was like, why? 
That's a mess. Oh, I saw that too. Why? Maybe if you were in a pinch and you and you, the apocalypse happened and there's no potatoes to be found. Other you're than that, find potatoes faster than you're going to find a bag of potato chips. Go to Lydia's. You're absolutely back. right. <laughs> you're absolutely right because I'm going to bury those potatoes real fast so I can have multiple potatoes. So I ain't got to be in this apocalypse without my potatoes. And then I'm going to come out and kill the zombies so they don't eat my potatoes. Yeah, it's going to be a whole thing. So I said, go, go to Lydia's backyard. They're full of potatoes. Listen. She ain't get them all. She did not. Listen. She said she didn't. She doesn't think she did. Huh. Them potatoes were small children. They were small children. <laughs> I mean, one potato would feed that, her whole house. You're right. Seriously. You're right. They gonna have potatoes till next year. Easy. It's a couple pies. It's a Easily. I've seen people doing um like sweet potato bread and stuff. I've never done that. And I I guess it would be no different than doing like a pumpkin bread. I guess. I might try it. I made curry lamb, lamb Rogan Josh. I don't know what that is. Turned good. I don't, I've never heard of lamb, but I don't like lamb. Ooh, I like lamb. Mm -mm. It has a, a taste that I just don't care for. Dinner bell has wrong. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, Audrey. Ah, you having potatoes, Audrey? <laughs> I'd be in trouble if I had a cricket. I sit around cutting shapes all day long. Wouldn't oh, yeah. <laughs> you can get so much done fast. They were huge unicorn lady. I mean, those potatoes was seriously small children. And she wasn't expecting that. That's what made it so much more of an exciting video to watch because she didn't know what she was going to pull out of there. And none of her potatoes that I noticed had any bug damage. Right. That was amazing. I had bug damage and I didn't even have that many potatoes. Sweet potato biscuits. Awesome, Felicia. I'm going to try it. Oh, sweet, I've seen somebody do sweet potato biscuits. Are those delicious? By the way, Felicia, I have seen that. I'm hoping next year I get way more sweet potatoes. I am not a huge sweet potato eater, but I will try to opt for those at times because I know they're better for you than having uh, the other potatoes. At least that's what they say. It doesn't make sense that it would be because they're sweet. But for people who claim they're in our best interest say it is bad. I don't. I think they're probably just trying to get our sugar levels up. <laughs> sweet potato cake never had that either. I do want to try the sweet potato biscuits. Probably and have some of my um, pineapple jam or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I need to know the ingredients in sweet potato biscuits because I told Lydia I was going to do something with her in November that would mean that I can't have some certain things. <laughs> but I will, I will hold out. I will hold out in November and it will go down in December. It go down in December. They go down in December. I am working on some videos though to do for some um some recipes for the holidays because I know a lot of people struggle with some of the traditional things um that uh, we might make during the holidays. And then you know, some people's um videos they do just be too much it don't it ain't that much involved in making some good dressing it ain't that much involved in making some good mac and cheese you don't need 10 different cheeses you do need some different ones but you don't need 10 of them some people be doing too much they sure do and you don't need a whole lot of it's just not a whole lot of i don't even when it comes to those holiday things i'm usually very I probably use more things with my turkey than I do with any other part of my Thanksgiving meal. And that's probably because I use like 15 different seasonings. 
Uh-oh, what we got? You see how fast that was? Ooh, Jane, yes. That was fast. Just by doing it from my phone. So I haven't finished up, but yeah, that black really makes it pop. It does. I should And it's probably better. just because of the background color. Mm-hmm. I do like the thought of the um the other one though. The other pattern. Yeah. <clears throat> now just see if I if I printed them both the same size because I didn't remember what I had typed in on the other one mm -hmm. so we don't see if they're the same size or not I don't like sweet potatoes, savory, only sweet. Same. I've tried the sweet potato fries, but I was not a I was not a fan. You can outline the other one with permanent marker to make it stand out. Oh. Alicia said that. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. You going where? All right. Why are they different sizes? You think they're different sizes just by looking at it? You like them sweet and savory, Felicia? Mm, I'm not a fan. Mona, what you up to? You it looked like you've been in and out. What's going on in your world, girl? Hey, Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> I think I printed them the same size, but what I did was I just spread everything around. You should put the bracket uh -huh. first and then do that and show the bracket. Well, I already got this on, Mimi. Well, then you should paint that black and then redo it. And then so it can be like a shadow. I'm not doing all that. Go, Claire. Go. You right under me. Go. Hind thought. I'm not doing all that. <laughs> I just finished it up on the fries. My friend needs to go catch it. I've never done the fries and done cinnamon and sugar. That would be yummy. Yes. I, that's right, Mona. Mona's getting ready for her trip. Oh, uh, yeah. Mona's going to be cruising. Yes. I am wishing you a safe and mm -hmm. overly enjoyable trip i want it to be more than you ex more enjoyment than you expect it to be yes have a good time eat from me please yes please yes i can't wait to hear all about it and that's why your mom won't teach <laughs> felicia said what she say? felicia said if that's why your mom won't teach you to sew I'm not doing all that. She's like, you should do this. It's too late. No. Bye, too. Bye, Fred. Bye, Mona. Bye, Mona. I hope I caught your, your tone as well, Felicia, when I said it. Because I felt like that's how I was saying <laughs> Mike getting out of here? Are you Bye, Mike. Hi? Thank saying, you. No, he's not getting out of here. She was saying hi. I keep misunderstanding what you're saying, so that's okay. Gina, please do all the things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do all the things, Mona, and more. Yes. Have a great time, seriously. And unfortunately, you already are, you, know, you guys probably aren't that cool there in Texas. It's freezing here. So 
going on a cruise from here would be like wonderful. Amazing. Yes, amazing. <laughs> I was cold. I, that's why I'm wearing these type of things at work. Like nobody's there but us, like I told you guys. But it is cold outside. You see, I got a sweater on because mm -hmm. it's just so dang on cold. It is. It is. And I need, I have a little, because my, our um, bedroom is it built on to this house? Now we didn't build it on; it was built on to it before we we bought it. But um, you could I could tell I wasn't told this, but I could tell it was a built on because it's a little different um, than mm -hmm. the rest of the house. So mm -hmm. they built the bedroom, the third bedroom, with the full bath onto the house, and it doesn't. It's not as insulated, so it gets a little cooler. Like we could tell when it's really cool and we could tell when it's really hot. It, the, the temperature in our room changes for that. Only room in the house that does that. So I keep either a fan. I have a fan in the summer for those days that it gets a little warmer than I like in there, even with the air on. Because I'm not going to blast the air in the rest of the house just to get it cool back there. Um, get it extra cool because it doesn't get hot, but it just is not as cool as the rest of the house. The same thing in the uh, winter, it doesn't get as warm as the rest of the house. It's not cold, but it's a little chill. So I have a heater for that time of year. One of these days, I'm going to get my chimney swept and use my fireplace because that would be smart and cost effective, but I haven't done that. I really need to quit dragging my feet on that and do it. It's hot today. It was cool yesterday. It was cool, Mona. We had frost last night. Listen, same, Felicia. Mona's cool. 78 degrees. Listen. Ciao. I remember a few times in the past in Alabama, everything shut down for a little bit of snow. That's Psalms. Mm. Yep, I believe that. Next week is back to eight. I think we get warmer. Um, do you guys get warmer to you next week? Yeah, this weekend. So you know, um, we, got too. we got snow Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday it was 40 in the 40s. Oh, yeah. Today it was in the 50s. And tomorrow they're talking about 70 something. Up, oh, I have a special weather statements or what the heck y'all saying um what's what's the statement increased fire danger today winds, winds 15 to 20 miles an hour gusting to 30 miles an hour with a combined will combine with low humidity resulting in dry conditions have resulted in an increase in fire danger that's if you're um having like um so people yep i knew that's what that was for um because at the bottom it says outdoor burning is neither safe nor recommended uh, we went to the corn maze last friday and it was because it's it's been so dry here they were they told us to keep our because at the corn maze you get these little spots where you have a fire pit and a picnic bench. We do it as our fall thing for our job. And they told us to keep our fire small because of that. They didn't want us to build it up too big and it caused a fire hazard. So still a problem here for outdoor fire. So fire, your fire pits that are wood burning or whatever you're using, logs or whatever. Probably the gas ones are fine, but you don't want to be put in a bunch of logs on outdoor fire pits or campfires or whatever. You were talking about a fireplace. I love a fireplace. I love a fire pit. Um, yeah. I get meticulous about it. I don't like them to build the fire because they're not going to do it like I'm going to do it. It's going to go out. I uh -huh. got to get everything just right. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that yeah, fire I have <laughs> I need to though. And we've been in this house for we moved in this house and before we've been here 10 years. 2020, 2012 is when we moved in. We rented it for nine years and we just bought it last year. Um 
So yeah, we've been in here a long time, but we never, I never even thought about dealing with that fireplace until mm -hmm. now. And I'm like, it makes sense to do that because that's a, that was safe money. It was, um, it was cold last Saturday morning and I got up about six or seven in the morning. I don't remember why I got up. I went out to the, it's in our, like we have a sitting room. It's in our sitting room. I got my pillow, my blanket, built a fire and went back to sleep on by that fire. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you were also in Alabama, Jane. Um, we were dealing with freeze warnings. Yep, because Felicia was telling us that the freeze warnings. Mm -hmm. But it'll be in the 80s this weekend. Ain't that crazy? Going to hit 77 Saturday, but back to 50 all week. That's Mike. Mm -hmm. Doesn't surprise me, Mike. Um, high fire. Yep. High fire danger. Oh, there as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can see that, Felicia. Um, Just that getting sick weather. Yep, yeah, exactly. Ups and downs. Exactly. Psalm said, my grandmama used to get mad at me when I would say that it was silly. But, oh, that it was silly to shut down over a little snow. <laughs> but now that I'm older, I realize that Alabama isn't equipped to plow and salt the streets like here in Chicago. That part. Chow, you're a neighbor too, Psalm. I didn't know you were in Chicago um in illinois but you probably are close you actually are a closer neighbor to tia than me but you're still a neighbor i've sure I'll, 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 I'll go get some popcorn right now yeah it's a four hour drive for me but that ain't nothing that it's, ain't nothing. it's three <laughs> yeah i've done that a couple times in my life um i have a friend that lives there um, she's not actually in chicago she's in the suburbs but when we go when i've been there we usually hang out in the city so yeah. yeah. Um, but Chicago gets some now that that winter there is real. You up there with the Mike real winters. I I complain in Ohio, but we ain't got nothing on Illinois. No, no. Um, I don't know if you guys will get back up some because the problem in Chicago is you're by the water. Yeah. That's why it's so freaking cold. That's why, like here in Ohio and Cleveland, they get that way because they're by, um, is it Lake Erie? Yeah. And it's like their winters are way colder than where I am. And we're not that far apart. Actually, I'm almost three hours from now and they're in Ohio. It's crazy. I have gas logs. I need to get it inspected, a chimney. I need to get mine inspected and cleaned. But I, I think I should. I'm, I'm going to look into it, see what the cost is in doing that. Because if I could do that to heat the house more so than um, running the gas heat so much, mm -hmm. that's a little bit of a saving. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. I like. I need to have that as an option, it or even fire. have it and have the gas heat very low, but mm -hmm. use most use the fireplace really to yeah. And once um, that fire is on, I mean, it's cooking. It it is hot. I could have had one, and it would yeah. It used to always keep. Now my house is two levels. It's not an up and down. It's man. It's a ranch pretty much, but it has a basement. Okay. So I I don't know if it would warm my basement at all. No, it's not. I didn't so think so, but I wouldn't mind. Huh? I said we have that too, Mark, but Mark, the basement is more of a man cave and Mark is stay hot. So my, my husband kind of does too. And we do have a built in wall electric heater. Okay. Down there. So that was already in there. Um, and I wouldn't mind buying like one of those cutesy electric fireplaces either. It, we, to, have, put we have one of those electric there. fireplace heaters, but mm -hmm. I stopped using it because twice the fuse is blue. Oh. And mind you, we got heaters all over this house because yes. you know, I'm not going to stay cold, but we don't got to turn the heat on. 
And I've yeah. never blown a fuse with a heater, but with that one. So he got it last year because my favorite one went out. And um, I've only used it a handful of times. I'm afraid to use it. Mm-hmm. Mike said he's going to plant some onion bulbs this weekend because it's the probably the last good weekend to get some stuff done. Yeah. I'll be sure. Um, it's that lake effect that makes it bad. It is some. Um, yes. If it snows here, it means blizzard in Chicago because of lake effect. Mm -hmm. It is really cold enough for the fireplace. Well, until now, Felicia... I know it is rarely though for you, but they like, huh? How about this year? And you know what? What um, Tia has told me because I would do that if I had ever had mine swept, but she uses the log that cleans hers mm -hmm. every year or a couple times a year. Mm -hmm. And um, so I said, once I get mine swept, I'll probably do that because that's much more cost effective to do to keep your chimney clean. Mm -hmm. um, even if you don't have to use it, you know, it's still cost effective for those rare times when you do, Felicia. Yep, I do it. I usually do it every fall and every spring, usually because I, you don't you only have to do it once a year, but then I forget and I'm gonna run the yeah. fireplace anyway. So you just gotta run like a regular fire. Mm -hmm. And then um after that fire's gone down, then you put the new log, you put the sweeping log on there. Mm -hmm. And that's what you do. And depending on how often you actually run your fireplace a year, you might have to do another day of it. Mm -hmm. I don't have to, but sometimes I will. Okay. Just another day. But like I said, I really like the fireplace. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I was talking to Lydia the other day, and I, we were on a video call, and I must have turned to where she saw my fireplace. She's like, "You got a fireplace?" I said, "Yes, but we don't use it." <laughs> I thought she was on the call when we talked about that before, but she must not have been. Must not have been. Mm -hmm. Sam said, "I wonder if chimney soot could be beneficial to the garden." I've heard of people brushing their teeth with it instead of paste. I haven't heard of that. I, I don't. Um, it might. I did see I someone um, use their their wood ash. Uh huh. Uh huh. And actually, I um, I was like, all right, the next time I use this fireplace, I need to make sure I clean it out. And I was like, I'm gonna put some out in my garden. I would I would search that probably on the tube. You're probably gonna see a video about it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um. So, but you get a few degrees. Hold her. Oh, she's talking to Mike. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Felicia's going to plant some peas and sh some sugar snap, Alaska, and sweet peas. Awesome. I need to plant. I planted my garlic bulbs. Well, my garlic. Um, I did a whole four by four bed of garlic. I want to do a whole four by four bed of onions, but I don't think I'm going to do, um, I have some seeds, but I don't know if I want to, I don't know. I don't know. I thought about doing them from seed, but last year I bought starts and they did great. So I'm like, do I just wait and buy some starts or do I just save my, they weren't expensive, but that was this year. You know, they were probably more expensive than they were before. And now, then next year, who knows? So I didn't think about that. I like starts. I do too. The starts, I was, I was leery as to what I, if I was going to get onions. I still, I have cut up most of them and froze them, and I have two left that I did not freeze. That I, I've been well, I had more than two, but now I'm down to my last two that I didn't freeze. That I'm just slicing up as I need, like if I make burgers for dinner or something like that, because my husband likes onion. Um, or if I cook with it, but um, I I actually did very well with the onions this year. I was very proud of those onions. Got to step away from the chat for a little bit. Okay, that's some. I'm going to see if I can get the little man to sleep. Okay, 
We only have 21 days of winter, 19 left. <laughs> Felicia. <laughs> Biochar, which is uh, wood ash, is good. Okay, for the garden. I need to do more garlic and onions. I need to do the onions, Felicia. Um, I covered my my bed that I put my garlic in because the squirrels kept digging up my bed. And so far, so good. I think the squirrels may be hibernating at this point because it's so freaking cold here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they might have went on into hibernation. But I still have the issue with those moths. So I've been trying to keep them away from my broccoli and greens and stuff. I did find a couple more of those caterpillars on my greens yesterday. No, my broccoli yesterday. And they were a nice size and I knocked them off and killed them. It wasn't a lot of them. It was like maybe four on two different plants. The rest of my plants were good. So I'm hoping that I finally, because I know when I first looked, I was like, oh, everything's looking good. I think I got it under control. And then I saw those couple of them and I was like, I still feel like I got it under control and there was just those lingering. They probably were little babies and I didn't catch them the first time I went through and killed all of them. So I'm hoping I got them all so that my broccoli, my broccoli plant is looking very good. I don't have any heads yet though. Um, I need to do, yeah, I said that. Jane said I was doing good to make it through two days. <laughs> Good grief, 19. <laughs> James like, enough of this cold weather. I always say we only about three weeks of winter. So you only get about three weeks of winter, but not at the same time, two or three days at a time. Okay. We ain't even getting started. Like, We're not I, even in our way. Look, it's cold, but I don't even look at, we don't, it literally, gets probably the coldest for Ohio anyway. January, February, February. March. February okay. be my be my March, hate money. Listen, I this is so sad cuz I I'm old enough to not forget the year that this happened and I ain't even at it. <laughs> in 2008 and the reason I remember the year is because my mom passed away in 2008. Was my 31st birthday in March. My birthday is March 10th, and we were in feet of mm -hmm. snow. We couldn't even get out. We couldn't even get out. Mm -hmm. I was so mad because I usually don't do anything on my birthday. I'm not that, I'm just not that person who's like, I'm not like by humbug about birthdays, but it's just like, it's my birthday, you know? It's I'm not, that way too. Yeah, I, but that year I was actually going to do something. Um, we were, my brother was, my brother was, both of my brothers were coming, my, um, best friends, my, um, who else was coming? Um, oh, um, my cousin, it was like a lot of us going to be there at this event. It was an event that was held every year, but we were going to go and it was, um, we were going to be at a dance and, you know, have a good time. And it's no, I, I'm about to look up how many feet it was. It was ridiculous. My husband, at the time we were not married, we were dating. We were freshly dating. Like we probably wasn't even a good seven months into dating at the time. And I had a hair appointment that day and he was like, and I was upset about it. He was like, well, you could do your own hair. And I was like, what do you mean I could do my own hair? It is my birthday. I don't want it. I was like having, he was like, hey. <laughs> he didn't run, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Nina was cutting up, y'all. Cutting was, up. And, and it was so not my my norm. I would <laughs> never be like, I would never care enough like that. But I don't know why it meant so much to me. I don't know if it was because it was my first year with my mom. Yeah. I was going to be around all these people that I really cared about. I don't know what it was, honestly. I don't know. But I got really beside myself that year. We talk about that to this day sometimes. I'm like, remember that year when <laughs> we got snowed in? But I tell you what, we still went out that night. I know, that's right. My brother came, his girlfriend, 
My husband's best friend came. My other best friend came. And actually two of my friends, two of my good girlfriends came. I'm trying to think of who I was in the picture because we have pictures from when we were there. It was, it was at least maybe eight to 10 of us that actually dug out of their houses and came to celebrate my birthday with me. It was so nice. I'm such a brat sometimes, I guess. I have months of winter. Yeah, we have months of winter too, Mike. I hope it rains while I'm gone so my plants will get watered. I'm done watering. Uh, yeah, Mona. the the um dew and all that uh, with the the moisture in the air it takes care of it. November through June, ours is kind of like November. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, October, November, December is what Felicia described. That's how our winters are in Ohio. So it's like a few days here, maybe a week there of winter, and then we get some milder temps. It's like that. But when January hit, winter be like, oh, y'all thought I wasn't coming. Oh, I'm here. I just had to stop a couple places before I got here. <laughs> but I'm here. And it come, and it come with snow and ice and below zero temps. It, it shows out. That'd be our February, I promise. I'm like, you know, we ain't seen nothing. Wait till February. Wait until February. You're going to get that ice. You're going to get them below zero temperatures. Let's see. We got... ...2008. What year was the big snow in Ohio? I'm going way back. It was a blizzard dump fast near da, 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 da. winter storm March 7th through 8th, 2008. It was actually probably then. It said my birthday, but it probably, my birthday probably fell around then. We got. Oh, yeah, I got some of that, too. It looks like um, Tia in Indiana. <coughs> Excuse me. In 2008, it hit Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio. My county got... Uh, what is this? In inches. Montgomery County. Mm -mm -mm. That is not it. Hold on, y'all. That can't be it. It takes an entire it takes the entire front yard for people here to make a snow. <laughs> Visualize a brown yard with a foot tall frosty the snowman. Hilarious. Hilarious. Some would be like that. I might have to do a little bit, Felicia, because like I said, these up until January, the temp is gonna do some crazy up and downs, but it's gonna be like I won't I probably will water like um weeks between each other. It won't be often at all. Um, yes, summer don't do us like that. Winter do. She says summer be like, Felicia says summer be like that for them. You thought I was gone? Nah. <laughs> for us, it's winter. They don't want to get its butt up out of here. I winter. put plants in my garden, garden in late April. We had frost in May. We're not supposed to plant until after Mother's Day, which Mother's is May. Day. But I was like, we was getting nice temps in April. So mm -hmm. I was like, we probably going to be good. Let me go ahead and it'll be all right. We getting some good weather. We've been consistent. It's been a week, too. Good weather. May came and it was like, oh, I forgot something. I had to come back around. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot a couple things at mom's house. I had my charger. 
I forgot it. I had to circle back. And sorry about your plants. <laughs> but I tell you, I promise you that's what happened. <laughs> I promise. Uh, I know we got a um snow last year in April, and it was probably about a foot of snow overnight. But because the trees had started to bloom and flowers are sprouted, it weighed the trees down more than it would have in the winter. So mm -hmm. trees were snapping. We had to get some cut out of our yard. Okay. You replaced the um, edge control you used all up on my... That pink, the pink bottle, the edge booster. Yeah, I got something to have. Yeah. No, I don't want something to have. I want it replaced. Okay, well then, I don't have any edge booster. <laughs> all right, just tell me next time you use it all. Well, it was already like that. I don't know why I can't find, because I know it had to be three to four feet, because that snow was coming up to, like, body parts. On the, I should say, in our yards and stuff, because the the um because Ohio gets bad winters, our um like uh salt trucks and stuff, they work all. They start before the snow starts falling, yep. and they all, work night. all night to make sure that you can at least drive on the streets. Because mm, because work is gonna be closed. Yeah, so they take care of that. See, I'm busy up north. Fall, right? Fall be busy up here. Yep. <laughs> Girl, Sam, that's how my kid be. Listen, I get it. My daughter, as my my youngest daughter, is the same as your son. So I get it. And listen, he'll settle down when it's his time. But yeah. I get it. Hmm? And she's she's older than him too. She's 13. My daughter will be 14 in January. But I go with the same things. Although she still gets plenty of sleep, that's a good thing because they were concerned about that. They said sometimes um children when they're dealing with that will um um if you don't like if their schedule, her schedule is very routine, which I know you probably deal with as well. Well, if I don't keep it routine, I'm not going to have a good day because she's going, she's not going to have a good day. Um, so I keep things pretty routine. And if it's going to be out of routine, if I can help it, we're having a conversation before that happens. So if I know that maybe we're going to have to go somewhere that we typically wouldn't go, I have to start talking about it before we go. Or else it's going to be like, wait a minute, she don't like, what do you mean we're doing such and such? So, yeah, but it'll be all right. He'll get, he get settled down. It's still a little early yet. Gina. Uh-huh. Now you layered over the ones that was already there? No. Oh, I'm like... How did you do that without me being able to see it? I like no, that. because they weren't the same size. The black was way bigger. Oh, gotcha. so, I like it. Let you. me lift it up. I can't see the whole thing. I haven't Can done it all it. yet. Okay, I couldn't see the bottom. I love it. What you guys think? He probably getting enough. He may be getting enough. And some, usually with mine, she has a lot of hard time shutting her brain off. So I, I do melatonin sometimes. Um, I had a coworker whose son is also on spectrum. So she was doing that. And I was like, I guess I could do that. I do the gummy thingies. Every now and again, I'll have her do that to help her get settled. On that, so she likes it. Thank you. Unicorn lady said, nice. Is that for my laundry room? What? <laughs> <laughs> Jane said, cute Tia. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, oh, Sam said she didn't see the before, but the after is pretty. Thank you. It was <laughs> the same words, but the it's just the a different color pattern. of the paper. It didn't pop. It didn't. It didn't pop. That absolutely pops. Are you going to keep embellishing like around it? Are mm -hmm. you adding like little little embellish? I could tell. What, I was like wondering what you were doing. I could tell that's yeah. I thought that's probably what you were doing. I know how you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the time get, Tia get done with that, it's going to look like she bought it at somebody's store. It's literally going to look like that. And she's not even doing the whole thing because she's going to have her husband put the little hooks on there. So and that's going to be... And I'm just going to strip the back and hook it to the wall. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yep. I do the gummies too, but sometimes they don't seem to have an effect on him. Yeah. I agree. I just think they have a hard time shutting it off. But when she's out, she's out. <laughs> When she sleep, and I usually like I'll check in with her every day. Like she, like I said, she's older, so I'm like, you know, how did you sleep? Were you up early this morning? Did you sleep in a little bit better? You know, yada yada. Because I leave before she gets up. My husband is here with her when she gets up. So, unicorn lady said it already does look very professional. Hence, why she needs to know if that's for her laundry room. <laughs> I can send you the look the pattern, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Unicorn lady, I don't think you were in here where she she um, explained where the board Stop came it. from. You're getting glitter board. all over her face. That Get was an extra here. board from her basement mm -hmm. that she just painted, and then she spray painted it with white, like a um, gave it a rustic look. And then she's adding the embroidery from the the uh, cricket on top of that. See how see how much went into that. She be over there crafting, 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 crafting. Did y'all see the project that um, her daughter did last week? The um, the bottles with the glitter, and then Tia like. You know what? This would look good if you spray paint a <laughs> bottle first. Do you want me to do that? See, her brain be going straight into that creative mode. And it did. It made it pop. And then Mimi was like, can you spray paint that one too? <laughs> Mimi, I came home with two more boxes of bottles. They look, I'm like, they, look good. Good. they looked good. Yeah. Um, I got stuff in the car, so I'm, I need all my stuff out of there before you take it from work. Can Unicorn you get lady said, oh, even better. Cool. Because after I told her how you made that. Okay. Can you get my um my water bottle out the car, please? Sam so says she loves the font of the laundry. Thank you. She has her little clothespin on there, the little hanger. Just making it look so cute. Unicorn lady say, yes, my favorite bottle is the candy corn one. Yes, mm -hmm. that came out really cute. It did. It did. I loved it. And that was Mimi's part. That was her idea. Mm -hmm. She she saw it and she was like, I want to do this. And that was cute. I mean, that was, I had never seen it. I thought those were really nice. And if you seal it up afterwards, oh yeah. Did she ever go get any um, of the sealing, the spray can seal stuff? No. no. no? That would make it perfect. Jane said, yes, I saw the live too. The bottles looked great. I agree. I love them. Very great would be very, um, what do they call those? Conversation pieces for decades. Yes. Conversation pieces. 
You know what? My nails are too long for this. You trying to move one? I was trying to screw in the hook. Oh. But I can't get the pressure down in there. That's why you're supposed to drill a little hole first. Remember I said that a long time ago to you? I, t I got this. I pushed it down. Oh, in there. I didn't see. I missed all that. I got it down in there, but I can't, okay. like, can't get it. Gotcha. And I don't have any drill bits small enough. Gotcha. Marcus I missed you even it. taking that little tool. I missed that. I'm going to have to catch the replay soon and see those. Yes, the bottles were nice. Um, You have to go back and check that out. They were so pretty. So pretty. Very creative. Just a very nice craft. Probably a little messy because it's yeah. glitter. But you can still contain it. But you probably, are you finding glitter in a lot of places afterwards? No, because I'm not in the living room too, too much. Mm -hmm. But you remember I had that blanket down on it. I uh, you did. Alicia was like, "Yes, the bottles came up great. They did." Oh, I got it in there. It's gone. Is your hand hurting? Mm, no. Oh, Surprise. I saw you shaking your hand. I thought it was. I was, I was like, "I'm just gonna hit it." That was me hitting it. <laughs> oh. But now how come the hammer not in here? Oh, here it is right here. I was about to be like, who done been in here and took the ham? Now don't bend your hooks trying to hammer them. I need to hit it. That ain't gonna work. Last year after Christmas, CVS had four fo lights. Oh, fairy light for a dollar i hit up the after christmas everywhere yeah. child i think i got the lights at um uh right eight they were 90 percent off mm -hmm. yeah so i get you felicia i'll be on that back when in my couponing days i was so good with it that the, the i had two stores two Rite Aid stores anyway that I couponed at that the managers had my phone number and they would call or text me when they hit 90%. CVS, I was good with the managers, but they didn't have my phone number. So I would hit them up too. Walgreens is always that one that you try to hope. Walgreens be trying to get every penny. And I'd be like, y'all need to, if y'all gonna be stuck with this, this stuff, because I'm not paying for it until it's marked down more. Target is another good one, by the way, guys. Target don't mess around. They get their seasonal stuff out so that they can get the next season in. So they're almost like how a Penny's or a Macy's and stuff are because they they rotate their inventory. So don't drag your feet if you really want something to Target at 75% because it might not make it to 90 because people go snatch it up. Um, Felicia said, okay, you got plenty of stuff. Uh, uh, feedback on what you need to do. Unicorn Lady <laughs> and Jane said use pliers. <laughs> See? And Felicia said use a metal metal skewer to turn it. A metal skewer? What's that? I don't know. Because when I think of a skewer, I think of... I'm thinking like a shish kebab. Oh, yes. I see what she's saying, though. You put the, the, the skewer through the, the ring, the hook part, and then you turn. But it's not it's not a complete hook. I know. But it is still... It'll still oh, work. okay. 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 Yeah. But you, the pliers will probably get it done as well. But okay. I now I had to visualize the whole skewer thing. Got to run for now, family. Going to catch my church midweek. Awesome Bible study awesome. and prayer meeting online. Have a very blessed rest of your evening. You as Thank well. You. Um, Thank you. I'll be seeing you, girl.
I haven't been on here as much as I'd like to be lately. It's just been crazy busy. I'm like, people, you know, they hire you to do a job. They pay you to do it, but they actually expect you not to do other things while you're doing it. <laughs> what? You want me to work and not listen to my YouTubers? Okay, fine. It's just been busy. We're going into audit. I'm prepping for our audit. Me and my our controller do the audit stuff. I also have a seminar coming up in the beginning of November that I have to speak at. It's just a wow. lot of crap. So it's not really just work. Usually I can listen to you guys when I'm at work. But right now it's just a busy time for me. And I'm almost about to like, my head is going to explode. So as soon as the audit is over, which is mid-November, guess who's going on vacation? I know that's right. I did it last year too. I told my boss, I said, the, the exit interview for our audit, the next day you can count me as being out. I'm gone for a week. I was stressed to the max. I'd be needing that week. <laughs> I gotta, ugh, I gotta be right. I gotta get myself together. So I will be on vacation sometime in November. For sure. Last one. How many you can put on there? Two already, so I'm putting in three. Okay. That was quick. I only saw you messing with the one. I didn't know you had got that one done. Once I had a system. Yep. I'm excited. I can't wait to see it. The whole I've been finish. excited. I did laundry and you know took all my sweaters out the washing machine. Ain't have a place to hang them. It's just all draped over the back of the couch. Mm-hmm. I told you what I'd be doing. Y'all missed that because y'all wasn't here at the beginning. <laughs> but I have like um shelves like this one here in my basement. These are just like the you know, metal shelves, and I drape my stuff on the um, corners when I have things that I don't want to go in a dryer. Yeah, but that's what I do because I don't have a, I don't have any, and I have a huge basement, but I don't have anything down there. Like I don't have hooks or anything down there, or anything down there to hang my. My delicates, I guess you would call it. Like my sweaters, my sweatshirts, things that I don't want to dry because it might shrink it or something. All right. Finished. I was about to say, turn that camera, girl. I love it. I love it. I feel like it needs two more hooks. Here and here. Yeah, only because I want all the hooks. <laughs> You, you have as many hooks as you need. I'm not I, hooking anymore. <laughs> I know that's right. I love it. But I got my sign finally. I love it. Thank you. I do. It has just enough embellishment. And I'm like, Sam, I love the font you use for laundry. Um, I didn't use a font. I downloaded that. Well, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all good. Take the credit for the font. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I love it though. Everybody, you see everybody. Mike, nice. Felicia, nice. Thank Jane, you, thank awesome. You, thank you, unicorn lady. That's great. It is. I like it. I like it. Do you have a color in your um, laundry room already? No, we have um, like the dark wood. Everything is that really dark wood, and then the, uh -huh. the walls are same color so just the white and then the real dark wood yeah. Lydia made me take her to, on a tour in there because I was on the phone with her and I put the phone down to go get stuff out the laundry let me see your laundry room let me see here <laughs> yep mine is pretty basic too it's the the color the the just the off-white color like these walls mm -hmm. and my it has ceramic towel which please tell me why was that ever a thing I don't understand why ceramic towel was ever a thing. It's horrible. It's horrible. Because the grout always looks gross. Yeah. 
And yeah. you can get your grout to look nice, but you're going to, it's going to affect the grout. So mm -hmm. all the things that will clean it and make it look clean are yes. also going to go down and, and messing it up. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's like, you know, and the cost in having that taken up mm -hmm. to then do a flooring that you would want to do is expensive. It's just, I was like, why, why did people, why was that ever a thing? Why was that a thing? My kitchen is, is ceramic. It's a different ceramic than my basement. My kitchen mm -hmm. is like a, uh, more of a gray color ceramic tile. Mm -hmm. I think it is. My basement is a lighter color, like a creamy. And it's throughout the whole basement, except for one room down there is carpeted. It's like a small room, almost the size of a bedroom. But the rest of it is ceramic tile. And I'm like, why, why, why was this a thing? And it buckles in, in places. It's just a, it's, I wish it was gone. Our old house was the walls. Was it called Spanish lace? Where those loops everywhere. It's got those yes. loops. Yes. Can't stand it. Yes. It's like the things that be, were things. It's like, why Why was this a thing? Like, Who thought of all these loops? This whole house. The entire house, and now I go to clean, and loops is falling off and stuff. Yes. My whole house is hardwood floors, except for my kitchen, the full basement, and my um, the main bathroom. So our other full bath is just that uh, um, vinyl towel, mm -hmm. which I'm okay with. Even if I wanted to take that up, I could take that up and put down the faux hardwood mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. or more vinyl, whatever. See, I'm the but opposite. Our whole house is carpet. The mm -hmm. bathrooms, carpet. Three mm -hmm. places in our house is not carpet. The kitchen, the hall foyer thing, and then the laundry room. Mm -mm. Carpet everywhere. I do oh. like it because we're on a ranch and we, we yeah. upgraded our robo vacuum. Mm -hmm. It just does everything. See? And I have not, with especially with Kodak, I have not had to pull out the real vacuum. So it's taking care of all of it. Mm -hmm. I literally, I had never had a house without carpet until this one. This mm -hmm. house has two rooms with carpet. My bedroom has carpet. Like I said, that was a built on. Mm -hmm. and there's a room in the basement um, that has carpet that's like a bedroom size. We use it as a fitness room. We have like our workout equipment in there. But after having hardwood floors, and when we moved here, we had a dog. We had a 90-pound dog. My my black lab was not already full weight by the time we moved here. Uh -huh. And I prefer having, now, it's, the hair is still an issue. I don't care if you have carpet or wood. Hair, dog hair is an issue. Yeah, it just is. Yeah, but I don't. I loved having that over carpet. Mm -hmm. I love having hardwood over carpet. I do like the carpet. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever go back to carpet. Yeah, I'm done with it. Except for it's like, why is the weight scale in your foyer? Because it's that's, the only no thing that's flat and it's closer yeah. to the room instead of walking yeah. all the way to the bathroom. Yep. Yep. Mm -mm. So sometimes I'm like, oh, okay, I wish I did have some, something flat to put something on. Yeah, that does make a difference with those stupid scales. They want to be, they want to be level. They want to be level. I yeah, Gina, in case you'd be interested, Walmart sells a garment rack. Okay, I'll look into that because that might that might work out as long as it's not too big and I could just mm -hmm. stick it down there. I have a my laundry room is bigger than it's probably the size of a master suite. Darn wow. Just the laundry room. That would be my closet. That basement is big. Right. Yeah. It's big. It's um because the there's the man cave portion of it, which is the size of a large, a very large living room, family room, and then um I have the bed, the room down there that's like the size of a small bedroom that we have our workout equipment in, 
And then the laundry room is, like I said, the size of probably a, a nice size master. Hey, Kodak. And then um, there's a closet in there. The furnace, there's a, another room where the furnace and water to hit or heater tank is and then even in that room it's spacey enough to put a like a twin size bed in there i don't know why that basement has so much room but it mm -hmm. does mm -hmm. it does but yeah and i appreciate having a big laundry room because that's where i have all my shelves with my yeah. Yeah. couponing stuff from when i used to coupon but where mm -hmm. i still keep stuff he like mom um i need to go potty you went out right before I went live. Did he? He is so pretty. Gina, Kodak. you be hyping his he, head up. He is, though. If I was there, I would sneak Kodak in my car and bring him home with me. Kodak. But now when you bringing Philip back? Right. I, look. Julie misses him. Look, Philip, let me send you my address. You just find me. Just just find me. <laughs> what are you looking at? I kind of miss having a dog. I think about it now, but I don't know if I want to go with a big dog again. I think I want like a 40 pound maybe dog. Something he was that's supposed gonna get to be a watchdog. He was that's the only why I want to get one because they are good for that. He's they will. <laughs> I said Hilda he was her. supposed to be a watchdog. He'll he deter is. people. Does he have a good bark? That's all he needs. My dog he wasn't about to bust the grape, bark. but she had a good bark. Her that lab bark sound like vicious cujo. <laughs> vicious cujo. People would be so scared when she'd be barking. I'd be like, her tail doing this. She's excited. <laughs> There's 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 nothing to fear there. She just people who have it. dogs recognize that, but people who mm -hmm. don't don't. They just hear the bark. <laughs> now he was supposed but to her be tail would just be like, yeah, why she's barking? Because she can't wait for you to come in there, so she could be like. Oh, see, that's he's, just, he's he's standing at the door. Oh. You can't deter nobody, and you inviting them to come to the house with your wine. But I will tell you, if the person ain't right, the dog will know. Okay. I I know that to be true because there was somebody that was actually close to our family. And my dog reacted to him differently than she's ever. Her hair stuck up. That's the first time I've ever seen a dog's hair stick up on their, their back. And she snarled and she was not having it. And I remember my mom. This, this is when my mom was still living. Um. Because I, I was getting on her about how she was reacting. And when um, the guy had left, my mom was like, don't you ever get on her. Because uh, she was like, she's around all kind of men. She has mm -hmm. never reacted that way. Because we have, it was a lot of family friends that would come around. And even my brothers and stuff like that. And she's like, she's never reacted that way. There's a reason she reacted that way to him. Wow. Don't you, you need to listen to her, what she's showing you. I and would so, want to know what he done did. I don't know. He still was around. He was my aunt's boyfriend, and something about him she did not like. I'd have to my case him. I'm dog sitting. <laughs> Are you dog sitting right now, unicorn lady? Are you unicorn lady? My dog has a good bark, but you will love your... Yes. Yes, that was my dog. She had a bark that's this deep and gruff, but she was just a big baby. She is my baby. My mom said, ain't going to bust the grape. Ain't going to bust it. But I think she would if somebody was trying to hurt us. But outside of that, mm -hmm. she didn't like for us to wrestle. She would be, she would break us up. Because, mm -hmm. you know, if you get to for horse playing and stuff. It didn't matter if it was the kids. It didn't matter if it was me and my husband. Mm -hmm. And, like, sometimes we would pretend that we were arguing. We do that with the kids, too. We'll pretend we're arguing to get them all riled up. And we're like, no, no, because he shouldn't have done it, you know. <laughs> we still do that. Are we still do that? Or day, I can, I can do it. When I said I got up Saturday morning and um, lit the fireplace and went to sleep, he came out in the family, in the sitting room with me, and it's right by the kitchen. 
And the night before I had mopped and I left everything in the kitchen, put the baby gates up so the dogs can get in. Well, in the morning when I got up, I fed them, opened the gates, but I still had the mop sitting up against the wall. Mm -hmm. Well, he must have did something. And all you heard, shh, shh, shh. Uh, not only did he take off running, he took off running to the back bedroom where Marcus was. Not to me. He bypassed me. I looked around the corner and he was. See? I laughed so hard. I said, that's what you get. He scared himself to death. <laughs> that mop tried to take him out. Stinking mop. Who, who, who invited him? He done tried to <laughs> attack me. <laughs> I didn't see that dog run so fast. And Gina, the way he turned that corner. <laughs> Listen. They are funny. The things that they can be skittish about. And then the things that they ain't, you they should be. Right. Uh, I remember my dog bought a field mouse to my door one time. Goodness. And I knew she had something in her mouth. I couldn't tell. And I was like, what you got? I said, drop it. And she dropped it and it was a mouse. Oh, I was done. I'd be done. I right was now. done. I was like, oh, I didn't want to let her in my house. I was done. You have been tainted. But she didn't, she didn't, she won't, would never penetrate those things. Like she, uh -huh. one time she brought a baby bird to the, to the step as she was trying to come back in. You. She brought it to me and I, and I was like, oh, I was so sad because I guess the bird fell out the nest. That's how she got it. And so she was bringing it to me to get it back to where it was supposed to go. And I'm oh. like, I, as far as I know, the mothers won't take them after yeah. something yeah. touched yeah. them. And I was like, oh, and the bird was just a chirping. It wasn't chirping frantically. It was chirping like normal. She just picked Aww. it up and brought it to me. She was Aww. sweet like that. Like she would not, she would chase things, but she probably wasn't going to bust a crate. Mm -hmm. No. I will say he my bug eater. When we outside, the, the crickets. She was that way. <laughs> she didn't like nothing moving. Spiders, mm -hmm. all that. Yep. Yeah. Own it. Yeah. She would take her paw, her big old paws. Slap it down like that thing needs to stop moving. Why is it moving? I watched the video and he's done this before where he ate a cicada, but the lady was like, What's in your mouth? What's in your mouth? And she's yelling at the dog, and the dog is just mm -mm. and then the dog mm -mm. opens its mouth, but the cicada is in there. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. No. Oh, good <laughs> lord! I was like, that no. would be that. That would be that no. Would be what is the Some things freak me out, and one of my coworkers yeah. eat, will eat them. Oh ah. no, 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 no! Because they're supposed to be like pure protein. Mm -hmm. I don't mind them as much. Oh no, ma'am. Like no, I'll see them, and I'm like, okay, just don't, don't mm -hmm. touch me or anything. I, I. I'd rather have a cicada than a cricket. I can't stand crickets. See, I'd rather have a cricket. Mm -mm. No. I don't like those either, but them cicadas, they creep me. That buzzing, that's, mm -hmm. listen, mm -mm. no. <laughs> I think that's because we always had them. Like, that was the summer sign, the cicadas. Uh, but the, like I said, I couldn't, I can't do a cricket. Now, see, for us, the cicadas only come up every, what, 10 years? Really? Yeah, I mean, it comes up in different areas, mm -hmm. but like if they came up here in my neighborhood, they, they're they not going to come up. They lay dormant for a long time. No, um, because the, the house that we lived at before this house was the house I grew up in, and it was down the street from my grandma's house. So basically born and raised in the house all my life. Uh -huh, and we too. always had the cicadas. Every year mm -hmm. that you stuck on things, it wouldn't be like you see on TV where they're just everywhere. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna see a you know a couple of them on the house or on the trees and everything, but you're gonna hear them. I'm gonna hear them first. So I think that's probably why I don't mind them because they were just always every summer cicadas. Nope. I probably ignored them as a kid. You're probably mm -hmm. right. I probably ignored them as a kid because bugs mm -hmm. didn't. I don't know. That's why I don't know when it changed for me because as a kid, we caught those things. We caught mm -hmm. crickets, 
We caught grasshoppers. We go down to the creek. I live where I lived at. It was very I like country, so we didn't have sidewalks. People still had chickens, roosters. Poor, mm-hmm. you, it was not odd to see somebody galloping down the, the road with their whore on their horse, things like that. That was wow. that was normal for us. Mm-hmm. I mean, there was no wagons and all that, but you know, we would see things like that. And we would walk to the creek and um, be out there and picking stuff, you know, catching tadpoles and I mean, not tadpoles, but um, the little frogs and stuff, all that stuff. And I was, I was the only girl amongst like, I don't know, it was one, two, nine, probably 12 boys Mm -hmm. with my brothers and my cousins. Um, So I was so tomboy and those bugs didn't bother me, but some, at some point in my life, I became a girl. No more tomboy. And I did not like the butts. <laughs> I did not like them. And it's funny how they creep me out now because I'm like, I grew up touching these things. Like I would yeah. literally get them and they'd be in my hand and I'd be like, oh, look at that. And now I don't want you near me. Mm-hmm. Please don't touch me because my skin is going to crawl because you did. Now I have to cut off my whole hand because you just touched not me. my whole The whole thing. The whole thing. There's some things that if they touch me, I probably would like not want my hand again. I think I'm I'm like that with centipedes. I can't. Yeah, there's some things that are like that for I can't me. Do it. Any type of peds. Yeah, I just had one of those in my bathroom this week. I went to move something and it came out. I was like, oh. oh now, now I get angry with stuff. I think gardening has helped me deal with bugs a little differently. So I see it. I was like, oh, you just want to be in my house. So mm-hmm. I'm having this whole conversation with this bug. And it was in the, the sink. It had fell into the sink. And I thought it was going to crawl up and out, but it couldn't get out. It mm-hmm. was falling back down. I turned that faucet on and run, let that thing get hot as it wanted to and keep yeah. running. That thing went down the faucet. I left that water, hot water running for a quick, a long minute. I have had to long... save me from the sun piece. I can't leave the room until you kill it. The butterfly. What butterfly? Lydia's new friend. Did she do another video? Did she do a new video, Unicorn Lady? That's it. What is she up to? Did she post something? She posted something a day ago. I seen these before though. I haven't watched her cop, black copper ran uh, Moran, Moran's um video yet. Maybe it was in that one. Yes. Okay. So she, maybe it was that video. Cause okay. her her weight loss ones, I've seen all of those. I thought I had. But yeah, I had to check it out. But was it a good butterfly? Oh, it was one of her walking videos. Oh, I think I remember that one. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One of her walking and It wasn't the one where she was, I think it was one of the ones where she was doing at the park, walking at the park. Or wherever that is she goes. The It might not be a park. Like the trail type situation. <laughs> I don't know if that's a park or not. The one no, she's like thinking, I don't even know like what what she calls it. She just go going walking. I know that, that I don't. Yeah. Oh, it was in a parking lot. It was the one in the parking lot. I might have to go back and watch. I didn't think it was one of the ones from the parking lot. I had to go back and watch. <laughs> Lydia's gotten much better about bugs too, though, because when she harvested those potatoes without no gloves, she had me messed up. And she had bugs. She, they she were there. Gloves. And she was like, look at me. I can do it. And the bugs aren't even bothering me. Y'all see gloves in everyone. People have said stuff about my gloves in my videos. Like, I'd be like, what's wrong with Gina's hands? Because and the design like, I have gloves on. I am not about to be in that dirt without no gloves because, see, the bug can touch me. And then, do y'all want me to have to lose a hand? Do y'all want me to have to chop this off? She was carrying a butterfly. Lydia just full of all types of surprises. Butterflies don't creep me out. Yeah, but I don't want to. That wouldn't bother me. 
They could touch me and I would be fine. Yeah, they don't creep me out. Things like grubs creep me out. Ugh. So that's why I have to wear my gloves in the garden because I just feel like it once I'm digging in there, something's going to touch me and I'm not going to be happy about that. I feel like something's going to jump out and get me. And in order to protect my life, I need protection. Exactly. I saw a big daddy long leg spider at my um one of my beds yesterday. I live this day because they eat everything else, but um they, it was huge. You can get it. You can get it. Go get it. He sees where I put his bone up. See. Mm -mm. But yeah. I guess what I had today since I didn't cook it yesterday. Wait. So had chicken. Yeah, they had chicken today. I had this girl the other day. I guess Sam's Club has these buffalo chicken wraps, pinwheel wraps. Mm -hmm. And she went to Sam's Club. I was like, can you bring me some of those wraps back? Let's see? And something sweet. So she brought me back my whole package of the wraps and my whole package of them six big old cupcakes. And yeah, I am. See? I didn't eat them all. The rest are in the car. I'll probably finish the wraps off for dinner and I will have I will have a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> but they were good. And I said, I, I know Costco <laughs> has the little pinwheel wraps, but they're just like plain. Yeah. Once the Sam's the Buffalo chicken that was good. Yeah. I'm Jane good. said I always wear gloves when working outside. Who wants the dirt? That part too. Why? And I use that as my excuse. That is part of it though. I don't like anything up under my nail, which is why I wear gloves when I mess with me. Mm -hmm. But mine's the bugs. also comma. Them bugs can't touch me. It's the bugs. I don't know what's out there. I can't have something touch me. They can't touch me. They touch me and now I gotta I gotta lose limbs and we don't. And want you know that. what? I don't get the pretty gloves because I can't commit that I'm gonna want to touch those gloves after I take them off. I need the cheap disposable ones. What happened to all them gloves I got at Costco? Oh, they in the trash. I'm like, yeah, I threw them away. I'm not putting That's my it. hand back in there ever again. I have actually washed some of them. I did not, because at first, I, that was me. I was throwing them away, and I was like, Gina, you could put them in the washer and wash them. So I have been, I have done that. Um, wash some of them, but they're still cheap ones. I still don't pay no money for them. Yeah. Why would I do that? If I know, okay, I was out there and I was doing stuff, and I did, I know I definitely did not come into contact with anything. I'll put it up. Mm -hmm. I've never washed them. But if I if, have. But if it needs to be disposed of, burn disintegrated it's it's gonna happen and i have no shame. i i i don't i don't disapprove of this <laughs> i do not disapprove of this you will get no pushback from me i don't disapprove i have literally gotten rid of utensils in the garden just because i don't want to touch them again <laughs> i am that person i'm like oh i could buy another one because you can't. I physically, I can't. I saw it's not that, that I don't want to touch it. Yep. I can't. Yep. It, had it no longer on. exists. Yep. I saw a spider's nest on it. Alicia, don't judge us. I feel judgment in your life. <laughs> but you're right, Gina. I remember one year. Oh, my goodness. It was the first year I did a garden at this house. And um, I had so much stuff out there. I didn't know anything. I tell you, I still don't know anything about garden, but it has so much stuff out there. I was like, I'm gonna be so cute, and I have my hat on, and I have my gloves, and I have a little basket. I'm gonna go out there, and I'm gonna harvest my stuff. I'm gonna be cute, blah 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 blah. blah. And I looked, and there was a spider, and I could see the egg sac, and I never went in that garden again. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I think I went back out there to show Mimi. And I never went back out there again. Uh, someone from work, she actually came and took everything off. 
I was like, you can have it. Just give me a couple tomatoes and peppers. You can you you can have it. That's your that's your fee. Thank you. See? And then I paid Mimi $30 to break down the whole garden at the end of the at in fall because I, I wasn't touching it again ever. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Listen. I the the one thing that got in my that was in my garden that made me rethink gardening. I still do it, but there's only one bug that absolutely there's two now because I had didn't deal with grubs last mm-hmm. year. Grubs is one that I dealt with this year that I'm like it made me rethink things. To, do I really want to do this? But them dang own hornworms. Yeah, I cannot. Them things yeah. creep me out. You saw. They took pictures of me one time, and it was not very nice. I'll but send I, you my cash app if anyone is interested in. No, no. <laughs> I was literally almost crying. I was like, "Oh my god!" I was freaking out. I came in the house. I was like, "Babe, it's a one of them things in my garden again. You gotta go get that that hornworm." Because last year I had about seven or eight of them. I had a lot of them, big ones. I they always mm-hmm. got really big before I saw them. Mm-hmm. This year I just had that one that got big. Mm-hmm. So thank God for that. That was the only big one. I can't and don't purposely touch any bugs with bare hands. That's right. That part I hate worms, worms they, but they have to go. They do them. have to go, but I just can't get rid of them for I think I have I grubs in my garden. I think I do because when I was planting the stuff, I saw one. And I was a big girl. I, I had a cup, mm-hmm. one of the one of the nursery cups. I scooped it out. I had gloves on though, and I scooped mm-hmm. it out, threw it across the yard. Now, see, I will scoop out the grubs. I do have mm-hmm. gloves on. I will scoop them out and I put, I have a pitcher that I keep out there and I'll put soapy water in there and I'll mm-hmm. th- dump them in the soapy water. But I, and, I think, um, I think I, I, it all has it. So my plan is if I can catch a nice day on the weekend is to actually take that garden out. And I think you said you and broke milky spores. Yeah. Um, like I said, I just, I want to treat, well, Marcus has been talking about getting, because the wood is falling apart and everything, getting something and doing a new garden. So I don't know if we're going to try to salvage this or do something new next year. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Yeah. I will tell you a way you'll know if you're going to have grubs, because it's going to be a definite if you see the, if you get these, do y'all get June bugs or like the, um, and the, because we get the June bugs. And or Japanese beetles, yeah, those are what though their eggs are what the grubs are the larvae, the grubs, yes, mm-hmm. okay. And like a couple years ago, I had them real bad. Like, my husband would come in from work and they'd be cov- our porch would be covered because he worked nights. Oh my goodness, and our porch would be covered and he'd just be stepping on them, crunching as he's walking. Into oh the- my goodness, no, I've never had them like that. Five That's, that has only happened one year, and all and that was like we had been living here for years before it happened. And um, I was like, so I'm like, are they another one that kind of lays dormant a little mm-hmm. bit? I don't know. I mean, I might see a couple here and there. Yeah, all the I've seen a couple. Almost like you said with cicadas, like you know they're there. Like you might see a couple here and there, but like there's this, there's certain times where it's like they, it's like swarms of them at nighttime. It's at night when you see them the most. Wow, no, I've not seen no, never. Y'all see me itching? That's because that's what yeah, they me do. Too. I'm gonna have to go take they a shower. Make, I may, I'm just thinking about them makes my skin crawl. I'll have to go uh, to the shower, but we are gonna have to get yeah. out of here. Why? Because Streamyard is telling me that we're coming up on our limit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's go. We gonna go. We probably right. not even that close. It'd be the end of the month, and they'd be like, "You're gonna go over," and then the next day is start over. Mm-hmm. I need to find out what day we gonna start over. Yes, I used stick to knock them. Yes. Well, um. It's been real, guys. It's been fun. And that was a nice project to watch you make. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we have to send our orders in. Because I ain't going to do it. I told them I can't buy a cricket. That's how it's, I can't. Now, do I can't it. cut I it. I'll cut it for you. 
and put it on the thing and then I, I'll mail you the paper. But then when I'm making my thing, I'm going to be like, but Tia, what am I not looking like? Let's see. It ain't looking rustic. It's looking busted. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Well, Gina, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. No problem. It's always <laughs> fun. I thought Lydia might pop in on this, but yeah, she's been busy. Uh, yeah, I thought she would pop up too, but no, she working. Yeah, she doing yeah, her thing. she doing her thing. Mm hmm. All right, but you guys, guys bye have bye. a great night. Thank you, Gina. Bye. Bye bye.